This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> The brand new anime season has begun, Fall 2023 is packed with a lot of juicy looking anime series worth checking out. I know there will be quite a lot to take in, but however, this video here will break down exactly what I think you guys need to watch. Sit back, relax, and get your watch lists ready for a lot of good shows this season. <laughs> Starting this list off with a series called a playthrough of a certain dude's VR MMO life, a very simple show of how an average gamer picks the most useless weak skills when starting out his adventure to wanting to perfect them. He believes that actually choosing weak skills will let him get less attention, but turns out that they may actually be the complete opposite of what he expected. But you would have guessed already, it's majorly into Slice of Life, a game that can be played in any way, shape, or form like many other MMO games in reality, and the protagonist chose to life skill. Just need to stop you guys on your tracks before continuing the video because today's sponsor is none other than Raid Shadow Legends, the greatest mobile game ever created that you all have to play right now. Raid Shadow Legends is a huge hit of a mobile game, spanning across millions of downloads by many players across the world, with high quality graphics, a cool and unique turn-based battle system, and best of all, tons of characters for you to collect to take into the fighting arena. With over 700, that's right, 700 unique champions to collect, you can take part in activities such as bosses, dungeons, doom tower, and even PvP to fight against other players real time. You all are, you know, familiar with epic bosses like, let's say, the Hydra. Well now, you can actually play a new mode called Hydra Clash, a clan-based competition to see who can beat the Hydra the hardest. Now I'm sure everyone desires a free legendary tier champion, well you're in luck because you can now get your hands on Sun Wukong, a monkey king with a staff as his main weapon of choice. All you've got to do is log into a raid for 7 different days to get your hands on this awesome legendary champion. Check out Raid Shadow Legends and download the game completely for free or scan the QR code you see on screen for some sweet loot and goodies that you see right now now that are worth $30. Link will be in the description and also pinned in the comments. The brand new era of superhero anime has now begun, a show by the name of Shy, which is also the name of the protagonist herself. Shy is her hero name due to her, well, obviously being sh very shy when it comes to an audience, but her powers prove to be extremely useful to society as she can fly, parkour, and save citizens from danger since she is the hero of Japan. Among many citizens who think bad or even good of her, she will always be there to save the day when trouble does arrive, whether it's a building on fire or a criminal needs to be beat down. <laughs> The Kingdom of Ruin is a brand new betrayal and revenge show. Witches hold a great deal of magic power, but the Empire had a different plan, and that is to hunt down and eliminate those witches who may be dangerous since they rely too much on them, and now they don't really want to rely on them no more. The protagonist Adonis as a young man holds dear to the witch who raised him. Unfortunately, the Empire killed her, and that is where the story of revenge starts to where Adonis vows revenge to slay the Empire and those who pose a threat. This this young wizard's power is overflowing with madness as he won't stop until his revenge is satisfied. <laughs> The 100 girlfriends who really, 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 really love you. You know, whether an anime is serious or not, perhaps this will take things to the next level within the harem genre. <laughs> Huh? 
The protagonist was rejected countless times after trying to ask girl out, but, you know, when going to wish at a shrine that he wants a girlfriend, it actually affected more than one. So to say, it went to 100 girlfriends who felt like they really wanted that man. In the end, though, he deserves a harem. Like, very much he deserves one for having a rejection record. <laughs> Berserker of Gluttony is a brand new show airing right now, a fantasy world where all the characters live, you know, filled with dangerous monsters for everyone to fight and level up. Everyone is born with a skill, some more useful than others. The protagonist Fate has the Gluttony skill, an ability only triggered when killing an enemy, which hasn't been discovered until very recently. It's an ability that's quite dangerous. It hungers him for power to kill enemies to feed his desires. The more he kills, the more powerful Fate gets. Yes, I know it's a little generic, but it's fun nonetheless, and people will find the joy in watching a show just like this. Now we're moving on to my current favorite anime of the season, Shangri-La Frontier is a very cool and unique show of a popular VR MMO game that just came out. The protagonist is named Sanraku within every game he plays. He mostly beats trash tier games and gets them over with, but when Shangri-La Frontier did drop, it was time to play a better game as he goes all out with nothing but attack stats, agility, and no defense, but a complete glass cannon. This is extremely interesting to watch and one that I recommend you all to try out. <laughs> The newest addition to the Demon Lord genre is finally here. The Demon Sword, Master of Excalibur Academy, is a take on how a powerful Demon Lord awakens years into the future into the body of a child and enrolls into a prestigious magic academy. Leonis Magnus surrenders after a major defeat and decides to go into hibernation or into hiding to reawaken years into, uh, into the future as a little boy. Upon being rescued by two girls from the academy, they enrolled him in, and here we are now, an overpowered kid hiding his insane same demonic powers from everyone around him. <laughs> This new anime is extremely wholesome, a show of an average boring guy who falls in love and begins dating a popular gal in school. <laughs> It's very simple, really, pretty much like any other romance anime of a popular girl falling in love with an unpopular guy. Though it is entertaining to see types of shows like this. I'm quite into the romance genre myself, even though, you know, not many are. But I think this anime is definitely worth a try. The return of an isekai I've been waiting for quite a while. The Rising of the Shield Hero is back with its long-awaited third season. And I gotta say, that after a disappointing second season, it feels like the third one is actually a redemption. It's definitely improved in quality thanks to the change in the director, and I'm hoping that it does get the love that it deserves. I'm quite the fan of isekai, even trashy ones to be honest. Though I don't particularly consider this to be a bad anime, it just, uh, you know, it didn't get the best adaptation that it truly deserved. <laughs> now for my final recommendation on the list we have is Freya and Beyond Journey's End, the big talk of the season that everyone is recommending these days. This anime is one of the most interesting fantasy shows I've ever seen.
If you liked Mushoku Tensei, then you'd like this since it has the exact same world building. To be exact though, Freyrin is an aging story of how an elf who is hundreds of years old stays looking the same while others around her age over time and die. You take a look at how she experiences those types of events, her emotion and her life as she goes through many scenarios in her epic adventure. It's one of a kind that you really need to check out. Thank you all so much for watching all the way to the very end. As always, subscribe if you did enjoy and let me know down below which anime you are currently watching in the fall 2023 season. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll be catching you all in the next one.